As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Tuesday. Thank you so much for keeping it Y254. Thank you for keeping it Y in the morning. My name is Ram Aguko. If at all you're just joining us, you're just now for the next conversation of the day. And it's all about understanding mental health and how it relates to drug abuse. On this particular conversation, we're going to delve deeply into understanding what is it that as young people, as youths, we can do in order to, pre to maintain our mental health, in order to just have peace of mind because we have seen in the recent past in fact the statistics are there that mental health is correlated with drugs and substance abuse a very good morning to you remember we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi Kenya we are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke ensure that you engage with us to help us understand this particular conversation I'm joined by Faith Mutendwa She's a very interesting personality. She's a life, uh, a, a, a life skill expert, a life skill mentor. She does a lot. She has a, a, an initiative. She'll be telling us more about that. Faith Karibu Sana. Thank you. Sana. T tell us a bit more about yourself. What, do you, what exactly do you do? My name is Faith Mutendwa. Mm -hmm. uh, I run an initiative that promotes mental health mm -hmm. through creating societal mental awareness. Okay. And uh, we do mentorships in schools. What's the name of the initi initiative? Talk to Mutendwa. Talk mu to Mutendwa. Mm. That sounds like a show. The camera show up with you. You can introduce him. Welcome to Talk to Ramaguko. <laughs> but thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's, it, you'll, you'll be telling us more about what you do, but from home, ensure that you engage with us. The hashtag as always is why, is why in the morning at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. Head over to Facebook and on Twitter. We post questions there on our social media handles. Ensure that you participate with us. If you already have questions in regards to this particular conversation, head over to, to Twitter and ask your questions. Are you a parent? Do you have concerns in regards to the mental health of your child? This conversation is for you. So, Faith, yes. um, when did you start the, this initiative? Tell us about, just a brief background of uh, you know, how it started and the impact it has had so far on the ground. Okay, mainly mm -hmm. I started because um, back in campus I used to go to children's home mm -hmm. and I realized that uh, most of the time when you go to children's home, we give them material support, but they need the, the, uh, the clothes. Yeah, material uh, support, like uh, food. Uh -huh. But they need psychological support. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, early this year, January, mm -hmm. I was just thinking because I interact with them. Mm -hmm. uh, I go there, I visit, and I, I see there's some cases that they need attention. Those mm -hmm. kids need to be mm -hmm. talked to. Mm -hmm. And then I said, why can't I? Because I have the skill. I'm a trainer. Mm -hmm. I train with the KIOP, the youth. Mm -hmm. and what uh, is, that, that is Kenya Employment Opportunity. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, we train youth. It's a, it's a government uh, initiative that trains youth. And uh, life skill is just a... Uh, life skill is all about... Uh, you, you learn on how to deal with self and mm -hmm. you learn on how to deal with others. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So you, you, you are interacting with kids yeah. while, so while, while in campus? Uh, yeah, I used to go to children's homes so most of the time. Okay. And uh, so I interact with them and I, I find there's something they're lacking. Okay. Despite us taking food, taking support, there's something they're lacking. And in most children's home you find it is only one manager. Like the, the people that are looking for uh, after those kids, it's only one person. So they can't manage like to talk to all of them. And, 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 and you are doing this uh, um, as you go to class? Uh, or yes. Simultaneously or how is it? Okay, it's, uh, let's say, it is started back uh, when I, there's a prog uh, back in campus, yeah. there's a program that we do in USIU, you uh, are, community you're, service. You're at USIU? Yes, community service. Mm -hmm. So, community service, I was attached to a children's home. Okay. So, I stayed there and uh, I really liked staying there. So, I said, even after finishing campus, I said, I'll be visiting regularly yeah, to check yeah, on those yeah. kids mm -hmm. and at least to talk to them, mm -hmm. to talk to them because sometimes you can give them advice. There are many things that are happening right now. So, it's good to give them advice, you talk to them so that they can like uh, increase self-esteem. They know that I'm important. I can make it in life. Yeah. Yeah, things like that. Yeah, because when you are at a children's home, sometimes some of them give up on life yeah they give up and then um 
because of where they come from. Some mm -hmm. come from the streets, some because of the history behind where they mm -hmm. come from. Their background. So uh, there's a lot they, they carry. So when you go there, even mm -hmm. we interact even to the, the small kids, like uh, we go, the ECD kids, the young kids. When okay. you go for mentorship, we, we interact with the young kids. We come up with stories, for example, resilience, uh, on how to raise resilience. We just come up with a story, we read it, and at the end of the story, the moral story, the mm -hmm. moral of the story mm -hmm. is we should be resilient, we should be courageous, we wow, should be, wow. yeah. And, and, and you can see the life just brighten up, you know, yes, their yes, smiles, yes. Their, their faces brighten yes, up. Yes. And uh, we have very interactive like section uh, session, and then just uh, sometimes we we interact with them, we play around with them, we we tell mm -hmm, them, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, say that I'm beautiful. Um, I w uh, to increase their self uh, to increase their um, self esteem and know that I'm important and I can make it in life. And and one of the reasons why we have mental issues is because of that particular aspect you've talked about self esteem. Yes. Someone doesn't believe in themselves. Yes. They don't see themselves as beautiful. So when they found when actually they find that one person who can mm -hmm. appreciate who they are and yeah. what they do, mm -hmm. you know, it 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 really gives them. A big thing. It, it's it's a lot. Yes. Um, uh, it means a lot to them mm -hmm. when someone is actually appreciated yes. on what they do and, and how they f look even physically. Yes. And uh, you know, um, as as you interact with this with, with these kids, mm. you know, how was it that you were able to distinctively pick out that uh, there is a way that mental health can connect to drug abuse? You know, how was the interaction on the ground as you are you know, uh, trying to look at the connectivity between these two aspects? Because most of them, like uh, there are some, when mm. they finish campus, yeah. they don't have a place to stay. Like uh, I sometimes I host some, I tell them come stay in my house as mm. you look for a job. Mm -hmm. So we talk, we talk a lot and mm. they tell me, they tell me like uh, the street life or it was, how their, their parents died. Like they tell me the whole story. And, and they all have lots of stories actually yeah, to tell. Yeah. And, and so, it's touching, huh? Yeah, so they tell, so they tell, they tell me that uh, one thing that is affecting them mostly mm -hmm. is drugs. Like uh, most youth, most uh, children, when they go to high school, when they go to campus, because of their past, mm -hmm. you just want to, to, to get something that will make you comfortable and forget about the past. So you, yeah, you yeah. find most of them, they are engaged in drugs. And, and it, it's not like they, they desire it. Yeah. It's because of situations. Because of situations. And also, as a life skill trainer, mm. as I train youth outside there, sometimes we, talk, we tackle that topic of uh, drugs. Mm. And you find youth know more than we know. Actually, when I'm tackling the topic <laughs> of drugs, uh. I just stand and I listen to, to, what listen to them talk. Yeah, they will teach you. They wow. teach you. They know everything. And, they and, know and everything. you know, um, what are some of the most shocking and surprising stories you've had from a few of the, you know, the youths that you've interacted with? Just to mention a few. Uh, uh, one, uh, one is because uh, most of time I ask them why is it that you like uh, right now youth they like uh, what is it called bank in it what? yeah yeah bank yeah so banky banky bank. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you by the way do you know <laughs> you, you reminded me there was a time uh, I was at a particular area yeah uh, at a particular time in life yeah and I did not know the smell of bank Yes. So I'm with some friends and you're walking and laughing and I say, Makuna mtu anavuta bangi hapa karibu. Eh. Sasa mimi na changa, unajua aji? And because <laughs> I had no clue yeah. how, uh, you know, how that said. I don't know how to, to describe it. You are of your bangi, siku wanajua inakuwa ngavi. But they told me that kuna mtu anavuta bangi hapa karibu and they were able to, to, to actually tell mm. the smell. Yes. So it's, it quite, it's quite interesting how they know how they, these things are, how yeah. they smell, how they're distributed. They mm -hmm. actually know. They know. And then because uh, you want to be associated with certain class, mm -hmm. you want to, to, to fill in in some certain group. Mm. And nowadays it's lifestyle. Girls yeah. are taking it, smoking mm -hmm. the, the, the banky. Girls are taking it, boys are taking it. It's a normal thing. 
and wame normalize banki imeka because even when i'm dealing with youth outside there unasikia anga tu akisema hiyo yani stories za banki tu ni kitu normal anakuambia hata wote chao nini and, 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 and they, they have a name for it by the way isn't it eh i can't remember the name i can remember one on itanga kishada kishada kuna ingine eh but uh, mostly wana taking ya ku smoke ndio my youth wengi sana 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 mhm kuna ile story yenye umesikia from this youth and ile ku shock kuna ile story yenye ulisikia and then you're like wow i never knew about that is is, is there a particular instance where you had such kind of uh, an experience that actually moved you mm -hmm. that uh, gave you actually you a moment to think about life yes um there's a Okay as I was there was a girl that I was hosting in mm. my house and uh, she uh, she told me the brother mm. finished school and you know those kids at children's home they are sponsored yeah. and uh, the brother got do a B ama a to the B plus unique KCC eh it was called aende university afanye kitu kama mechanical engineering kitu kama hiyo sio alipata he got a very good grade so, I, 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 but because uh, influence of drugs mm. akasema yeye aende amefika place yenye anataka kufanya job ajitegemee and ataki shule akuenda hadi waleo hadi waleo eh and that's because of oh, yeah. wow wow anataka I, kukua stable uh, ndio apate do ya kujibaia and you see that's how many have actually lost their way mm -hmm. because you end up making wrong decisions for yourself yes. uh, because of that momentary uh, joy that you get yes. but drug still it doesn't always end up well it distorts True. and disorients True. yeah mm. uh, how how has it been when you interact with um, you know you, you know kids uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you see how damaged uh, they can get as a result of drug abuse you know and you know going through that whole process of recovery mm -hmm. out of that drug because you know it's 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 it affects your mental health yes it disorients you mm -hmm. it withdraws you from the society yeah and then there is no way the way you used to interact mm. it changes at yeah. the end of the day yeah. you know how is it through that process as you bring them back to normalcy Okay one of the thing that uh you just youth you talk to them mm. and uh you know youth if you become harsh to them mm. if as a as a as a trainer if i become harsh to them or i talk something that uh, will make them look that bad uh -huh. they will scare away yeah so yeah, yeah. when i'm talking to them otaniambi you story ya bangi ni kama na entertain mm -hmm. but at the end of the day I I tell them the effects that drugs on be you know you can't be productive if you're taking drugs because you will be it will affect your nervous system you will mm -hmm. not be sober when you're doing your activities mm -hmm. so they see the upside but when you come to a youth and you start condemning mm -hmm. immediately you start uh, like uh, you're doing uh, you know you're going to be lost you're going they won't listen to you but you you have to like entertain you to, and listen you reason with them yeah and then you listen to them mm -hmm. you, you 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 listen to what they are saying and mm -hmm. then you tell them the, the 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 other side of the story you know you know one problem that i fear um or i i feel is actually on the ground with some parents and yes. um, actually most people on the uh, in, in the society is uh, we're too judgy yeah we 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 don't know someone's story we yes. don't know why they got to where they are mm -hmm. and uh, we end up saying oh, you will die uh, yes. umia, uh, uh, but you, you don't, we don't actually take time to listen to their problem to their problem. Is that so? mm -hmm. yes because one of the one of the reason why people take drugs is because they want attention uh -huh. yeah there's uh, they want attention maybe there's a kid you know uh like the lifestyle of today parents are too busy for the kids they don't pay attention mm -hmm. you don't know your kids friends you don't know who to interact to uh, your kids interact to so because they want attention they they might end up going to drugs yeah yeah and 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 it's it, it's a sad thing when they want you to notice them and you don't because yes. they're too busy caught up yeah, in their own issues too busy until 
addiction where the kid cannot uh, stay without drugs, that is when you start now. You want to, to help a child when that child is in that stage. And even as you talk about uh, drug abuse and uh, mental health, there is a way it affects your body. Yes. It affects even in the long run different parts of the body, including the reproductive system. Yes. You know, in the long run, you you end up messing yourself, mm. uh, uh, messing yourself up. Ten years, twenty years, thirty years down the line, you're not the same person ever, mm -hmm. uh, again, and mm -hmm. it affects your mental, your, your mental health to the point that you get into depression. Yes. Mm. So, uh, as we have had, there's a lot of suicidal cases in our country like, uh, in the last uh, three months uh, the reports were saying like 500 we've lost 500 people and the reason behind if you go to depression mm -hmm. maybe you're addicted you go to depression maybe uh, drugs are stages and um, mm -hmm. because of time we will not go through the stages mm -hmm. but uh, you can go to like a you go to a st stage where you are dependent when you become dependent to a drug means you're not doing your activities you neglect your activity if mm -hmm. you're going to work you don't go to work it. if it is going to school you don't go to school and as a parent our parents mm -hmm. you know the way they were they are they will start uh, telling you you're doing bad see uh, you, they start comparing you with other kids mm -hmm. you see this kid is prospering so you get depressed you mm -hmm. don't know where you don't know who to help you so you get depressed at the end of the day yeah. so yeah. when you get depressed uh, the thought, the suicidal thought now starts coming. Mm -hmm. If if there's uh, no one to look after you, if there's no one to follow up your case, mm -hmm. you may end up committing suicide. And and, and um, I love what you're saying there yes. because this this month is uh, Suicide Awareness Month. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I remember we were having this particular conversation on suicide cases la, uh, the, the the previous week. Yeah. And uh, one the, the the guest that I was having on that particular day was telling me that. Uh, you know, we need to talk about it. People yes. don't always talk about suicide cases. Mm. We, we we shove it off to to Meskia Ama, who you this mm. guy uh, uh, committed suicide. We just say, oh, Paul, and then we we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. But we need to have such kind of conversations because it makes them aware about where they're heading to. Yeah. Um, when you go to the ground and you um, you know um, mentor the youth mm -hmm. and you hear how they are, they are, they are doing. What is the rate of acceptance on the ground? Because the acceptance rate also needs to be very, to be considered. Uh, how do they receive this information? To be mentally aware of their position, how do they uh, interact with such kind of, uh, of of information? Because you've given them a story. Yeah. Omambia, these are the uh, the things you need to pick up from. Yes. These are the things you need to stop doing. Yeah. You know, how do they receive it like in the long run? Uh, for example, in children's home, yeah. they receive it well. Uh, the problem that we have now, if I go to a children's home, I'll do a mentorship. Uh -huh. And sometimes you'll find that there are some cases that needs like a follow-up, like a follow-up, uh, a counselor to, to do some follow-up. We work alongside with counselors. Mm -hmm. We do the mentorship with counselors. So when you go there, we can identify like there are some kids who need like a those follow up, serious follow up. Mm -hmm. But because, uh, you know, it, this is an initiative, it's me who is doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I can't afford like to hire a counselor to follow up on that child. Mm -hmm. But uh, we see some changes because when you talk to them, we talk to them about uh, relationships, we talk to them, personal hygiene, we talk to them about many things. Mm -hmm. We see some changes. At the end of the day, you hear a caregiver calling you and telling you, what did you tell my kids? I mm -hmm. can see some changes. Wow. And uh, wow. When, when we are going to children's home, mm -hmm. one thing that we do, because this topic, uh, life skill, is, is a wide topic. Mm -hmm. So we go there and ask, what is the problem? What is that? Uh, they will say, maybe self esteem. What can we discuss? They will say, maybe drugs. So they know the problem. So we address the problem and we see some changes. They wow. Go to wow. Us and, they say, yes. and, and, and I love it. Yeah. When, when you're saying a parent can call you, Yes. Uh, uh, and ask you, what did you tell my son? What did you tell my daughter? Because yeah. they are changing. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a moving moment. But as an initiative, mm -hmm. you've said that you're facing different challenges, including uh, you know, a, a sponsorship, getting people who can be able to you know, come in on board. But how do you select you know, where to go to, yeah. who to interact with, and mm -hmm. which places to dwell uh, or to stay at a given period of time? We are based at, uh, okay, I'm based in Machakos County. Mm -hmm. So we do mainly um, within Machakos County. Mm -hmm. So for one, within one sub-county, we can decide to do one. Mm -hmm. If it's Machakos, the next month we go to Mwala. The next so like in Machakos County, we have like nine sub-counties. Mm -hmm. We choose one, one. Then the next, uh, every month we have to go one. And mm -hmm. in every mm -hmm. sub county, in every sub county, yeah. so one one uh, children's home, yeah, in uh, every sub county, every sub county per yeah. month, yeah, per month, okay, yes. And um, then, if if it is one per month, how, how is the follow up done? Because after that one month period, you know, you've uh, 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 gone to a different lo location. location, you've we left the previous uh, yes. uh, mentees who are yes. there, yes, how? we keep contacts. Hmm. We keep contacts, especially to the caregivers, if in case of any problem, because we have counselors, and sometimes they are willing even to go to some extent because I can tell them this kid has a problem, mm -hmm. and uh, because I can't afford to pay a counselor, but there mm -hmm. are people that uh, they can just deliberately say that I'm going to do it for free. You have you have volunteers who come? Uh, yeah, counselors. Mm -hmm. I have a team from we from USIU. Mm -hmm of counselors, my friends, they mm -hmm. assist me in doing this. Wow. Yeah. Then, then you have a very big support system, Oko, for ground. You have like a battalion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try. You we try. try. Um, if you look at the um, expenses that uh, you incur, you know, um, how, 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 how challenging is it because, uh, to, you know, get uh, sponsorship, to get uh, money? Because moving from one place to another, yeah, it's very expensive. Of course, it's yeah. very expensive. Huh? Yeah. You know, even those counselors, you have to pay them something because yes. someone is committing. Mm. As I've said, you can't afford to pay, but you have to give something small. So at least for every, like, uh, every month, you know, this is something that I do out of passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, you go out of your way. Like, uh, you can spend, like, uh, roughly 15 to 20K mm -hmm. monthly. That's mm -hmm. why we do it monthly, because I'm not able, like, to do it weekly. Yeah, weekly, yes. Because yes. it's expensive. And it is expensive, yeah. So if uh, someone wants to get a hold of you, how can they do that on social media? Uh, I was... Facebook page, Talk to Mutendwa. Mm -hmm. You can reach us through our Facebook page, Talk to Mutendwa. Talk to Mutendwa. And also, because we've said that... Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you, 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 you can talk to an uh, answer. Yeah. Wambewa kufuate kwa kwa Facebook yangu ni Talk to Mutendwa. Mm -hmm. Then our YouTube channel, we usually have live talk, conversations on mental health, Talk to Mutendwa Pia. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Um, as we bring this conversation to a close, I would like you to just give me a few tips here. You you said for you to talk to somebody, you need to listen to them. Huh? Yeah. Um, how do you go through that whole conversation? Just in a in a in a nutshell, just the skeleton part mm. of the mentorship that you you have. Just one session that you have with uh, somebody mm. um, addicted to, to to drugs or their. Uh, abusing drugs, mm. even though they are not yet addicted, but you are you are having a session with them. Mm. How do you start and proceed till the till the end? Maybe there is someone who is watching you today. Nana Shanga, uya na fanyanga aji. What is the uh, your tool of trade? Okay. It's just one session. Unafanyanga vipi? The only thing that you can do is to handle the root cause, because sometimes. A person is addicted because of this and this and this. So when you are conversing with that person, okay, they will tell you their, their side of story, but you have to dig in to know the root cause so that we, you can you, you can come in and uh, and try to look for solution on how you can help to solve that problem. If that problem is not solved, then even if you talk to that person, mm. it is you are doing nothing. You have to you have to know that if it's a kid, mm. maybe they are addicted because. 
at home the, uh, there's a, they are facing some rape cases they are facing so you have to know the root cause what is it that is causing you it be mzazi kupata mtoto anavuta bag alafu namtandika eh hiyo ni mbaya sana jua root cause ni nini inafanya mtoto akwe ni influence ya friends ni nini kweli inafanya because sometimes comes our oh, martins ma, ma unapata mwingine umemchapa the next the next minute unapata ameenda ku commit suicide so yeah. should be very yeah you, you, you saw a story of one teenager who committed suicide after getting the results of their examinations eh. the next thing amejinyonga amejinyonga so sai vitu vime change martin mm -hmm. was quizzy si kama wa kitambo mm -hmm. so there's a way that we should handle them mm -hmm. and uh, yani ukwe tu polite and take it step by step you see kitu yeye ataacha pap simbio bio yeah take it step by step ujue yes in your root cause how can i help maybe can i look for a counselor if she's not comfortable to talk to me can i look for a that party mm -hmm. can why how can i help because so sometimes these kids these kids cannot be free to mm -hmm. talk to their parents yeah so who can i because so it's it's always good to look for a mentor someone as a parent it's always good to look for a mentor someone who can freely talk to your kids so wow. kama kuna shida una una call your mentor mwambie hebu uliza huyu akona shida ni nini yes i want to give you just 30 seconds yes time to kidogo tu sana eh there is a youth who is watching you what word do you have for them just within within a, in a very short period of time as our take home something that they should never forget your final remark as we bring this to a, to a, a, a close uh, what matters in life is a decision youth what matters in life is not what happened in the past what matters in life is the decision that you make today so you can make a turn around by making good decision and uh, always um, before making any decision look at the outcome look at the consequences of anything that you're doing and just um, you have to encourage yourself you have to mm -hmm. stay motivated Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much Faith. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes. I wish you the best. Yeah. Ukienda initiative ingine uniite mipya nikuje hapo hivi. Niko na kiatu moja naweza atoa. Sawa. Hata kama nikurudi nyumbani na na mguu mwingine. Sawa. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh keep what you're doing. I appreciate you and uh, thank you for finding time. Uh, thank you so much. Asante. Uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Uh, that has been Faith uh, Mutendwa. Uh, there's, there's something, oh, by the way, be, be, before I conclude, sorry, Liz. Unwana hapo yungo yungo yake, kuna, kuna ka logo, ame, it's, it's really talk to. Talk to Mutendwa. Talk to Mutendwa. Bifanya hivyo wanaichi waona. Nuna, yeah. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Talk to Mutendwa. And, hapo uh, chini mandikuwa? No? No health without mental health. Wow. Powerful. Follow on social media. That brings us to the end of this conversation. The hashtag as always is one in the morning at Ram Maguka at Michelle Ashira at Y254 channel. We still have more in store for you in a bit. Maintain your mental health because mental uh, uh, no health, no health without, without mental, mental health. health. Mm -hmm. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. Keep it Y in the morning.